mammals. Reverend Leviathan here at Axmas 3. Getting ready to hear the confessions of these three gentlemen right here who love to <coughs> indulge in evil zebra cakes and mustard. Yes. Go ahead and correct him. I uh, don't indulge Go ahead. It's, it's zebra for the record. We like to call it zebra. 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 We have a side. Zebra. We have a, we have a side hair metal band zebra. called Dead Zebra. Dead, Dead zebra. zebra. The more you know. Beat right. that on SoundCloud. Dead Zebra! <laughs> My apologies. It's okay. So You've been forgiven. Learn your shit. Yeah, we have the infamous Alazu Ilu AXE. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Joe Black. I am very fucking cold. My dick is shrinking and my nipples are growing. What is happening? Thank God this is a confession. And this is? <laughs> Lee my Carver. name is Lee Carver coming at you live from Louisville. And that is? Uh, and this is? Billy Obey. Axmas. We in this bitch. Thank you guys very much for being the darkest guy. Yes. Now. Your all's name, Ala Zoilu. Yes. Very original name. Thank I have you. Never it's heard from a metal like band. <laughs> so, what can you tell people who don't know about the origin or translation of the name? Well, just say our name as slow as you can, as correct as you can, in the mirror, backwards, at 3 a.m. January 33rd. And you, will find, and you will find out who we are. Set an event in your phone. Yes. That light's really fucking bright. All right. I'm staring right into it. And we're heading right towards it. We're going to suck you in. Well, before the uh, release of The Almighty, you know, we got Head of Horns, Psycho, and Necronomicron, which only featured Joe Black and Billy O'Bey. And then with The Almighty was the introduction of Lee Carp. So, Lee, how did you come to be a part of X? These guys asked me out on what, a date. What, what? Sorry to interrupt. It's AXE. AXE, excuse me. Okay, back to regular scheduled programming. Well, I didn't have anything to do on a Saturday night, and these guys asked me out, and I was like, well, I could tell them I was going to wash my hair. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to zest up my life a little bit, give it a try. Next thing you know, I'm forever faced up. We knew the fucking neck up. We knew it was meant to be when we asked him out for a bowl of vegetable soup, and he said, vegetable soup? Fuck vegetables! Fuck vegetables! Give me the soup! I knew we were good. He's a perfect fit because he's fat, so... Alright. And I must say, with your introduction on the Almighty, dude, I was blown away Praise by of you guys. Thank you, brother. And, Thank you. you know, the Almighty got you guys on the charts. You know, how have yes. you guys felt about the reception that the Almighty has gotten? Uh, I will go on record and say that I forever wake up humbled and grateful by the fucking Zooligans, catapulting everything we do to the forefront as much as they possibly fucking humanly can. Forever grateful for that. So that just ties into that. The reception has been great. And it's because of the Zooligans. All the cause of the Zooligans. We're here for y'all. We would kill for you. No, boy. You would die for us. Or Hold up. You would kill for us. Wait. We would die for you. Or we'll Either die. way, someone's fucking We're dying. all gonna die at the end of this shit. Ha <laughs> Remember that. Remember. Well, I know on the Almighty, you guys had some really awesome collaborations. I was really shocked to see you guys got Flatliners and ROC and like, oh my god. Like, those well, are really awesome. ROC wasn't on the record. Oh, excuse me. My apologies. <laughs> Good try, though. Snip. Yeah. We'll just cut that out. Uh, Bill, uh, Bill Mosley was on the record. Oh, cut yes. that part yeah. out. Shout out to Bill Mosley. I think you can get our record on his merch table now. Yes. How awesome. fucking dope is that? Everybody that we collab Mosley. with is somebody that we fuck with. And that's how collabs should be fucking done. Top, top for life. Now, with all the collabs y'all have done, do y'all have any kind of, like, dream collaborations with someone or, or group that you'd love to collab with? The first one is? The Fat Boys. Cage. Cage. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. All right. I think I think that ship has sailed. <laughs> okay. well, you, you never know. There might be something laying around cutting room floor shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably pictures of kids. Yo! No! Yo! Oh. No! Hey, fuck it. You might be right. Uh, no. Never I still love him though. I mean, fuck, he's king of pop. Well, I noticed most of the guys you collab with, you know, are all in the underground hip hop. Now, how do you guys feel about possibly collabing with someone outside of that genre? Who would it be? There's multiple names that come up. Jonathan Davis. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. 
Corey Taylor. Corey Taylor and Migo the Devil for me. Lee? Uh, I would have to go with anybody that's like a true lyricist in the hip hop genre. Mm -hmm. But on some He's obscure. Out of, out of the genre? Out of the genre. The outer oh. gods. Out of the genre. From the genre we are in. Garth Brooks. But we'll make we'll make him be called Goth Brooks. We'll make an exception to, with King Eight One Zero. There you go. I don't think they're doing shit together no more. But luckily for them, I can play every instrument. No, in all seriousness, it'll be Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> all right. Now, uh, you know, I really dig your all style, and I'm really, you know, particular I dig when it comes style, to man. Like, you like your style, dude. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys have the same hair. I'm very There's particular when it comes to, to hip hop, you know. And so I'd like to know, like, who are y'all's musical inspirations? First and foremost, ICP, Twisted, mm -hmm. Slipknot, Corn, Flatliners, Wu Tang, to name a few. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone Thugs for sure. And I think that's where you get a lot of your maybe your variation in your music because that's a Absolutely. lot of different variations in yeah. uh, artists right there. Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, now uh, I know. Before you were Lee Carver, dude, you were Knox. You know, you did That's so purely speculation. Who the fuck is that? I uh, know Knox, and he's whoa. a cool guy. Okay. He's a very cool guy. It's all right. Uh, what are the chances of you guys doing solo projects? That's fucking zero for me, because that's too much work. <laughs> I'm you never know. No, you never know. No, honestly, yeah, you never know. Like, you never we're, know. Our, our pre, we have our workload predetermined right now. We know exactly what we're doing in 2019 and the upcoming future. But you never know. I, I mean, it's something that I want to explore still. I love doing it. I love to rap. So inevitably, you know, just keep making rap songs and see what the fuck happens with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Wrap his hands around throats. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know uh, On the Almighty, you know, one of my favorite tracks on there is Venomous Five. Twisted. Yeah. Word, word. And, Five's you know, uh, some of us are wondering, is the Venomous Five something that could happen as a super group? It could very you never well know. happen. You, you never, never know. know. You never know. But you never I mean, fucking know. It's not likely that that would happen. I mean, that's dream come true shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. that's like fucking busting a nut while hitting a grand slam out of the fucking park it's during the, during the, the, the World time. Super Bowl series. No, but yeah, that I would mean, be the day. Yes. But that you answers never your know. question. You never know what the MNE fucking, you never know what magic we have in store, if you will. Yeah. See what happens. See what the future holds. Well, I know if, if, if people want it, they need to be vocal about it and let us know, man. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody watching this, you hear that? If you want it, be vocal. Call let into your know. local rallies and demand it. Call your local senator and tell them the Venomous Five needs to happen. And in the grip needs it. to be a, a fucking year round thing. Call McDonald's too, fuck it. You're hot and pine. Uh, All righty. And, well, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this up since it's a wee bit cold outside. Wrap but, it up. Uh, you know, my final question for you guys, what has been your all's greatest challenge? This Tell guy. Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm difficult and hard to work with. So In unison. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, hey, they ain't lying. What has been your greatest challenge, Joe? Being me. All right. <laughs> well, uh... Before we wrap Very it up, uh, I've, been asked, I've been asked to ask you, Joe, if we could uh, close this with uh, some of your dance moves. Oh, Saving dude. it for the stage, sorry. Saving it yep. for the stage. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't want to pop these life. buttons prematurely if you know what I'm saying. Because <laughs> when I start dancing, buttons start flying, I start <laughs> getting poked out. <laughs> it's like the fucking OK Corral. Just shoot your eye out, kid. For we'll real. see you in there. I'll be your Huckleberry. Boom. All right. Thank you guys for Thank your time, you. man. Thank and, you. Uh, you. Our I pleasure. absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father, Son, yeah. and the Holy Spirit. Now go and sin no more. <laughs> I think you need to shake this. Thank you so much yeah. for that. All right, man. Are oh, you anything for that? Oh, yeah. For the handshake? No, just for the whole. How much was that? Oh, yeah. I don't that know. was free? Yeah, it was, it was free, complimentary, man. that whole yeah. thing? Hell yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Thanks, dude. Merry Xmas. Oh, yes. Merry Xmas. Oh, you edit this. Merry Xmas. It's over. It's over. Hey, for the